hello guys welcome to today's class so today we're actually going to be talking about forex versus synthetic indices so straight to the business for the day now actually um this video is going to be telling you a lot of things that most traders who trade both forex and synthetic do not even know i'm going to be telling you how the forex work and how the synthetic indices also works now i want you to sell to down concentrate and watch this video and learn because this is something that i'm not sure you're actually going to find this knowledge anywhere on either youtube or the internet just randomly guys this or everything that was put together here was gotten from intense research so i want you to actually um concentrate and watch the video guys so let's go over and see now um now forex as i explained in the previous videos forex means foreign exchange and then here we treat currency pairs that is we trade the currency of countries against each other now that is forex just a recap of what forex is and in talking about synthetic indices these are indices that tend to mimic the real financial market movement now these are not real financial instruments they are only a copy of the real financial market yeah i guess you already know that if you've been following the beginner course and uh let's see now the next one now in forex when trades go on it is a struggle between the buyers and the sellers which are also the bulls and the bears so in this case the one with the highest volume wins so as you mean now i buy usd card well let's say mr a buys usd card and then mr sell and uh, mr b now sorry sells usd card now it is a struggle between mr a and mr b you understand so now the buyers and the sellers the struggle it is should i, should I even say it's a battle more like that though but when trades go on it is the struggle between buyers and sellers in the market that is why you see the candlesticks they'll go up they'll come down they'll go up come down it is a struggle the strongest side wins and in this case the one with the highest volume wins let's proceed you understand better now this is a in an illustration of it you can see buyers on this side which are also the bulls and then sellers on this side which are also the bears now when they trade they are actually trading against each other when it, when you're buying you're going against the sellers and when you're selling you're going against the buyers and then as i said before the side with the highest volume wins now a more better explanation in this case now this animal you see here is the bull and this you see here is the bear to signify buyers on this side and then sellers on this side so let's assume now mr a buys uh let's say usd card for example with 100 lot size and then mr b sells usd card with 50 lot size now in this scenario now don't forget we said the side with the highest volume wins so which side now do you think is actually is, um, is actually going to win the struggle now which direction do you think the market is going to go of course the market is going to go bullish because the bulls have the highest volume the bulls are actually trading with 100 lot size or the best are trading with the 50 lot size and then obviously the bulls have the highest volume so definitely the market is going to go bullish so now price ends up going bullish because compared to the bearish momentum the lot size on the bulls is bigger just like what i explained so now you might be asking if this is what happens on the forex market then what happens on the synthetic market now if i actually tell you that in the synthetic market it is not necessarily a um a struggle between the buyers and the sellers you might really want to get confused or if i tell you okay in the synthetic market the buyers don't trade against the sellers like the forex market because in the forex market the buyers trade against the sellers the sellers trade against the buyers that is how it is in the forex market so i'm gonna show you now in the synthetic in this market here market direction is not determined by the highest volume between the buyers and the sellers but rather this type of market moves as a result of a cryptographically secure random number generator that automatically generates numbers which market interprets at direction now i'm going to take that slowly 
so you understand and digest it. Here, market direction is not determined by the highest volume between the buyers and the sellers, but rather this type of market moves as a result. We are talking about synthetic indices now. Rather, synthetic indices market moves as a result of a cryptographically secure random number generator. So now this cryptographically secure random number generator now it's a system now it's a program that automatically generates numbers that the market interprets as directions we get the point now so now it means that in the synthetic indices market the side with the highest volume does not determine the market direction instead the cryptographically secure random number generator which is the which is a program is what determines the market direction when it passes that information or it passes those numbers that it has generated the market now interprets it as direction to follow let's go to the next slide now so buyers and sellers do not trade against each other here we get the point unlike forex in forex now the buyers and the sellers trade against each other but when we, when we come to synthetic indices, the buyers and the sellers do not trade against each other. But rather, they trade against a program. And this program is what determines the market direction. Now, what is that program we talked about in the previous slide? It is the cryptographically secure random number generator. It is a program. It is somebody's, um, should I say, construction. It is somebody's work. Someone actually started out to create this random number generator that determines market direction. And also, synthetic brokers are said to not have access to manipulate the synthetic market direction as the system generates numbers randomly and not in a sequence. What this means is that the synthetic brokers, uh, which is um, Deriv for now, because Deriv is the only uh, broker that actually offers synthetic indices. So now, it said that synthetic indices brokers are said to not have access to manipulate the synthetic market direction as the system generates numbers randomly and not in a sequence now a lot of traders a lot of like a lot of traders that trade boom and crash or trade volatilities they tend to say that the market is manipulated a lot that is what a lot of traders say that the boom and crash market is manipulated a lot yes i understand your um your perspective i understand where you're coming from by saying that but then don't forget that this synthetic market now is not controlled by the banks like the forex no it is not controlled like the bank it is not controlled it's not controlled by big institutions that will keep on buying and selling with huge loss sizes and manipulating price now not minding that the synthetic indices market is also a mimic of the foreign exchange market now in the synthetic indices market nobody manipulates it it is a cryptographically secure random number generator that generates those numbers i want to copy the real financial market so it is not like you know it's not like um, synthetic indices is actually being manipulated so much no that is not it it is actually mimicking the forex market okay i'm gonna give you this example now if you're looking at the real football that you watch in the stadium, like the live football you watch in the stadium, you will not actually compare it to the video games, the FIFA video games you play. They are similar. The FIFA video game is actually a copy of the actual live football match you watch live in the stadium. It is only copying the live football match. So definitely, the video game is going to have some lapses. Sometimes you might see some glitch. You know, you might just see some things that, you know, it is not the real market. So, definitely, it's going to be there. Get the point now. So, let's move on to the next slide and see. You might be asking me why this information now. I want you to know that boom and crash or the volatilities is not as manipulated as you think. You get it. It is not as manipulated as you think. It is, um, okay, I think I'm going to go back and explain the last slide so you understand. Now, in synthetic indices market, unlike the forex market where the buyers and sellers trade against themselves, in synthetic indices market, the buyers and the sellers both trade against this cryptographically secure random number generator. 
you get the point now in forex market the buyers and sellers trade against each other and then decide with the highest volume wins but then in synthetic indices the buyers and sellers trade against the program and then whether the buyers now as you mean i bought let's say as you mean mr a now maybe buys let's say boom 500 with 100 lot size and then mr b sells it with one lot size this program here this number generator now might still produce a sell direction and then it will go in favor of the person that actually sold with one lot size while on the other side in forex the buyers who bought with a higher volume will move the market you get the point so it doesn't matter what lot size you use it doesn't matter what volume you are actually trading with the number generator will still generate what it wants to generate it generates numbers randomly and not in a sequence meaning you cannot know what number is next or what direction is next for sure always still bent on your analysis and everything to make your edge play out you get the point now so buyers and sellers we still both trade against this program and then the program now not minding the volume in the market the program brings out the market direction brings out the results and then the market it appears the number direction so my be asking me why this information now knowing all this you should be able to know that forex and synthetic indices are not exactly the same thing but they are similar and also what applies to forex will not completely work on synthetic indices without some modifications now when you are actually learning to trade the forex market now a lot of traders a lot of traders that trade the forex market mainly whenever they come to the synthetic indices market they find it a bit difficult to trade a synthetic in this market now it's not like they cannot really apply exactly the same thing but then it needs some modification as you mean you trade forex the, the main forex market now you trade currencies and then you you actually know that okay a bullish engulfing candlestick is for a buy but then when you come to the synthetic market now let's assume you're let's assume you're actually trading boom 500 and then you see a bullish engulfing candlestick now it doesn't really guarantee a buy it doesn't really show that it's a buy because a huge candlestick can appear a huge bullish bullish candlestick can appear and then it's still gonna sell massively you get the point so if actually you want to trade synthetic indices with your forex knowledge you need to modify it a little you need to look at the way the synthetic indices market is moving and then you modify your strategy to go in line with it you get the point so now the synthetic indices market is not as manipulated as a lot of traders think sometimes we need to just accept our mistakes and take responsibilities for them instead of blaming the market the market does not know you and i don't even think the market will ever know you so when you make a mistake you take the responsibility and you go learn from your mistake in as much as the forex market is manipulated you know the big banks want to uh want to manipulate the market manipulate price that is what the synthetic in this market is also trying to copy so it's not like it's normal in the forex market we have liquidity grabs and all those stuff it also happens in the synthetic market so i really hope this video was helpful and you've been enlightened about this so um this video is actually going to be on, on my youtube channel so if this is your first time on the westy forex academy youtube channel and you actually gain value from this video please like this video and subscribe to our channel you can also turn on the notification bell so when next we upload the video you get notified you come to watch and it enhances your trading skills so have a nice day enjoy yourself so thank you for watching if this is your first time on the youtube channel please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and please also like this video you can also turn on your bell so that whenever we post a new video you are notified so have a nice day guy it's been a it's been an amazing time with you and thank you for actually watching the video to listen so have a nice day you trader wesley